Hi folks, today is Sunday, March 11th. Um, looking at a rucola there growing in my uh, raft portion of my aquaponics system. Uh, here's some other rucola plants. Um, I'd like to get more of these going and experiment more with it. I love rucola and it's hard to get at the store here, so definitely want to grow some more of that. Um, but what I'm going to be doing today is uh, planting some uh, regular American lettuce in this other raft bed here. The lettuce is, these are the, these are the starters, the starter lettuce. It looks, actually looks quite bad. Pretty sad looking uh, starter lettuce. Yesterday it looked beautiful and I left it overnight in the uh, greenhouse and maybe it just got too much, it was too hot in here this morning maybe and it all kind of wilted. I sprayed some water on it a little while ago. It looks like they're starting to come up just a little bit, um, but I'm hoping that once I transfer them into the raft system, that uh, they will they'll perk right up, which is what they usually do. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, other than that, I'll just uh, update a little bit on the uh, chili plants. Okay, now I've shown this before, but it's probably worth showing again. Um, when I take these out, I First I squeeze the bottoms of these a little bit just to make sure that the that the, uh, the whole plug is kind of loosened up. So I've already loosened this one up. And then I, if it doesn't pop out by itself, like this one, then I very carefully grab it from the base of the plant, oops, and it's much easier with two hands, and just pull it out. And then I take it over to a bucket and just rinse off all of the dirt that I can off the roots. Just like that. And then I take this over here. And look how bad, I mean, usually you want your plants to be um, a lot more rigid than this. This is this almost looks like it's going to die, but I don't think it will. I think once it goes in the water, um, it'll perk up. So anyway, then you just take these and you set them inside your your inserts. Those go inside the basket, the roots dangling down, and then that goes in the in the raft system, just like I did with this first one over here. And you can see how how um, how wilted that one looks as well. But I, I'm thinking that that one's gonna make it, and um, maybe 30 minutes from now that'll be standing up. So we'll, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm on the second row of these plants. Look how bad those look. Okay, that's the second row. And then this is the first row. You can see these are already beginning to uh, to get some life back into them. And I'm not a plant person. I'm sure plant people um, are fully aware of what's going on and, and could explain it. But I just find it pretty fascinating. Plants are incredibly um, resilient as long as they don't get beyond a certain point. They can come back. Uh, even delicate plants like lettuce. Okay, it's been about 15-20 minutes since I finished uh, transplanting these. Um, the first row that I planted is here. Um, that's actually not as bad as it looks, that, the, the one closest to me, this one. Um, I'm, I'm sure that I'll, that will make it. And these other two will definitely make it. So if you just think about how those looked when they first went in, I think, I think it's pretty remarkable how how they can uh, bounce right back like that. Um, unfortunately, I can't say the same thing about the second row. This first one will make it. This one is, it's, um, it's got a good, some good sections in here, so that one will be fine. This one is very doubtful. These leaves look pretty bad, but the center one might make it, and so what will happen is that the plant will uh, just drop those other leaves. Maybe I'll just snip them off later to help it out. And this one might make it. This leaf looks like it might be okay. I did help this one out a little bit. I unrolled the leaves to try and think, get it to survive. But anyway, considering how bad they looked, I'm really not disappointed with uh, the results. I mean, definitely these three will make it, and probably one or two of these will make it. So four or five out of six. And then the rest of them, the rest of them all look pretty good. These will all make it. These weren't in as bad a shape as. Um, as those others. 
and these especially, this this row here was, uh, that one's looking a little bad, but that should make it. And uh, these, these starters, actually, these are pretty good starters. I mean, I think these will probably be ready in 20, 21 days, so. Anyway, and then I just wanted to show uh, quickly, I got a couple more chili peppers off. Again, I'm getting some of these, um, I'm getting some that are fully ripened at a very small size. I don't know why. This one's great, though. No complaints there. And, uh, but I'm not seeing very much other flowering going on with these. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what the cause of that is, or if there is a cause, or what the deal is. Um, the jalapenos are all over the place. I have too many actually. I thought these were regular chili plants when I planted them, and they're not. And I just don't have the need for this many jalapenos. So um, I'm going to leave them in for now, but I'll probably be taking them out next week. And same thing over here. These are all full of jalapenos. And these, um, they're looking good. If I wanted to grow jalapenos, I certainly have a, a good system for it. So that's about it. The other gravel bed over here. This one's where I, this is where I have my aloe and uh, tarragon chives. Um, this aloe plant, by the way, aloe does extremely well in aquaponics, at least in a gravel bed. I don't know about floating raft, which um, is surprising to some people because people think that the aloe plant um, can't have too much water. And that's probably true, but with these aquaponic systems, the um, it's not a constant amount of water all the time. It's always it's ebbing and flowing all the time. So um, it definitely likes it. I mean, this plant is just great. I've, I've taken quite a bit off of it over the last couple months to, to use it. Um, and not much else to not much else to talk about there. Anyway, till next time. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I ended up staying a bit longer than I thought I was going to. It's now been an hour since I uh, moved these plants over. Here's the first row once again. So these will definitely all be making it, no doubt about it. And the second row, uh, here's the first plant in the second row. This leaf here, I'm just going to snip off. That That's not going to make it, and I don't think that is either. And this middle one, um, the center leaf looks good. These don't, so I'm going to snip these off. I think that'll just help the plant probably uh, send out new uh, leaf shoots anyways. And same thing with this one. I'll snap these two off. I mean, it's been an hour. If uh, those leaves haven't been able to reconnect to the, uh, the plant's uh, lack of a better word, vasculatory system, then they're just not going to. So those are coming off. And I think I'll take this one off too. So this plant just has that one little leaf on it. Oops, there you can see. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I think it'll still um, develop into a full-grown uh, lettuce. But we'll see. Anyway, now I'm really done. Thanks for tuning in.